Do you want to do something positive for your mental health? Let's do a collage together. My name is Gajana. I'm a registered psychotherapist and I'm passionate about crafting. And these are Margaret Miller's prompts for the fourth week. Something related to a religion or secular holiday, ledger paper, a game or a puzzle piece, something you find in a garage, a pair of something and as a bonus, a zigzag pattern. As always, I'm using index or system cards as the base for my collage, as they have the same size like regular postcards. And my final product I'm sending to my mom in Germany, who's collecting postcards and is always happy to receive them from me. Okay, let's get started. My initial phase is always using all the different prompts. Here I have the ledger paper and maybe you can remember that in week two I created a little frame for myself. Um, this frame allows me, because it's the same size like the postcard, to have a little preview of the different sections and see how it looks and I think that's a good um, That's a not good piece. I think I will go with that. But as I said, um, this initial phase, I'm taking the different prompts. I'm playing around with that. Look at the size of my postcard. Where can I place it? How is this all fitting together? Like the different sizes. Um, is Will I take it vertical? Will I take it horizontally? And when I get the first inkling, I start um, tearing and um, yeah, building my collage up bit by bit. Here I use the technique with my ruler to tear away the edges. I wish that I don't have to take scissors or so and I can exactly um, tear it to size. I like the rough edges. It gives it a little bit of a rockety feeling um, that I always like. Okay, um, I think I can start gluing it down. And often I use liquid glue on the borders, but I think with the ledger paper I'm fine just using the glue stick and um, really pressing the ledger paper down on the index card, making sure that, um, especially on the edges, that it is really, really um, attached to the base, using the bone folder, really pressing it down, getting rid of all the air bubbles that might be under it, so that it is a really straight and clear surface. And okay, so going from there, um, what's the next one? What can I then do as the next step? Maybe I am using the puzzle piece that I chose. I use use the black one because I thought I might cut it out and use it um, as a like template um, for something that can peek through. And of course, like with the black one, I got reminded on Carl Jung's shadow side, um, which refers to our unconscious part, uh, parts of our personality that we reject or suppress. And so I'm always interested in these parts and especially with crafting. Like so many people say, I am not a crafter. I can't do this. Jung would say this is a shadow side. This is an unowned side of yourself. And it's good to have a look at it and maybe to confront it and integrate it because that helps us to become more whole, more authentic. Here you can see I'm um, repairing a little bit the side so that I can use the outside frame here of the puzzle piece to, yes, um, again, use as a frame so that I can play around what I may cut out of the Buddhist statue. 
Okay, where to go from here? Okay, a pair of something, a pair of gloves, pair of garden scissors, both I can find in my garage. And yeah, so, and yeah, something you can find in the garage. My inspiration was this image actually of a garage, like very tidy garage, like my dream to have to do craft and arts projects in there. And yeah, so mm, maybe using the frame to sort things out where things can go. I'm a little bit at a loss here um, because all of my images are so large and um, in the moment I have no idea how this will end up but I think it's just trusting the process. It's without too much thinking. It's um, trying to start. Like here I'm tearing off the edges again. You know me by now. I like when my images are a little bit rough. Um, so I like to add that to my collages. And yeah, so playing around with it again. Like... Um, feeling into it what goes where if I maybe yeah fold it in half exactly and um see how that would fit but still oh, such a large image maybe if I yes put it in half again um to see if it takes up less space that from the spatial placing it would fit nice or it, it's, it looks more aesthetic to my eye and yeah as I said it's trusting the process trusting your gut feeling and allowing things to unfold that needs time maybe I'm starting with um, using this as a template and with my pencil drawing the outline of Ah, it's not really nicely visible. Actually, maybe I need to take a different pen. Okay, um, yeah, maybe I can take both pictures. Yeah, maybe it's easier if I cover, cover it with the solid piece and then take my black marker to outline the shape of the puzzle piece and then to fussy cut it later yeah okay yeah I think that can work yep yeah, I can see the line I can see the line even if it is very thin but I think it's yep yeah, it's good enough I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but I think you should be able to. Okay, I will now carefully fussy cutting it. Um, and again, like I'm always speaking about it, it's like I know it's the easiest way to turn the image, not the scissor, to get the shape of what you want to cut out and it's it's my mind seems to not grasp the concept properly a little bit here you can see that I'm there managed to move the image rather than my scissor yeah okay done I put that to the side maybe for a later project yeah Okay, mm, so that still, it still feels like little bits and pieces. Mm. Okay, like uh, it definitely wants to go to the left, I can see. Um, yeah, I think it's time to cut the outside so to so that I can glue it down and then go from there yep 
little bits and pieces. Yeah, I think that feels, yeah, that feels right. <laughs> and just in the moment where I think it feels right, I start double guessing it again. I don't know if you know this. Like it's, you think, ah, yeah, I made a decision, and then you start again from the beginning. Like, oh, maybe, maybe this, maybe that. Maybe I talk a little bit about the puzzle piece because I chose the Buddha statue because it. Um, I felt inspired by the Buddhist New Year. And I um, was reading up on that, that not everyone starts the New Year at the same time. Our solar calendar, for example, is January 1st. But Mahayana New Year is January 25th. And the Tibetan New Year, for example, Lozar, is starting on February 10th, like the Chinese New Year. So I thought, because it's the beginning of the year, I would like to put that image as an inspiration onto my card. So, and here, again, my um, something I find in the garden. I definitely would like to add the shadow in my card, because the uncertainty, the not knowing, is definitely a shadow side of mine that I find hard to integrate into my life but yeah finally I'm reaching the point to start gluing start gluing something down so coming to that part of the process where I can at least commit to a little bit more of the background and I spoke about it before that um I'm sometimes using the liquid glue to add so that the corners are nicely secured. Yeah, the shadow side, the other side, the side that we don't want to be seen, that we don't even want to see ourselves at times. I, that feels like a dark black hole inside of us. I think I would definitely like to include this on my card this time. Yep, playing around with the different positions. And yeah, for the smaller pieces, I'm using my liquid glue here, especially with all the outstanding little round bits here. Okay. Today, creating my collage is a very, very slow process. And I cut out lots and lots of time on top of this. Like what you are seeing is already the shortened version Sometimes it's very fast and sometimes, yep, it takes time. It takes all the time it needs. And here you can see I had um, reduced this little piece by getting uh, taking out the scissors. I thought that's fine enough, like having just the pair of gloves as one of the prompts. And um, yeah, using my liquid glue again, to add this to my card. Like when you stay to the end, like if you bear with me um, until then, you will see that I added a little quote at the very, very end um, that is really um, reflecting that process because I think, yeah, I, I needed to have something additional. Yeah, yeah, stay at the end, stay tuned and you will, uh, you will see it. Yeah, I use my bone folder again to press everything down so that it is securely attached. And here for the bonus, I stitched around in a zigzag pattern to finish off my card. So, let's come back to the prompts. Something related to religion, ledger paper, a game or puzzle piece, something you find in the garage, 
a pair of something like the garden gloves and as a bonus the zigzag pattern. And here you can see creativity takes courage was the quote I added because it really took courage this time for me. If you enjoy watching my videos and feel inspired by the process, please leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Bye for now.